Hi everyone, it's Jerry. I'm on LeeChess.org, and I just got paired up playing a 5-2 game. Let's try d4. Alright, and c4. Nimzo Indian. Let's try f3. Okay. Same-ish. Let's take and see how black recaptures with the knight. Okay. All right, let's take messy structure. I have the bishops. They were threatening my queen. Let's take there and probably just take their G pawn. That's a pretty significant pawn. So, oh, they're not going after this guy. Let's take here. And I don't want that knight dropping in there. So let's go here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, I'm up upon. And I have the bishop pair. Hmm. Probably not a good idea what I just did there with my bishop. Okay. Well, this is a little bit awkward. I want to play e4, bishop e3, king f2. I like keeping a defense of this guy. They're uncastled. I have a check here on h4. I'm forgetting that there's increment here. I've maybe played the opening too fast. Okay, got to open my bishop's eyes. And maybe I know where my knight belongs. I don't want, I don't think I want the knights exchanged. Let's get a knight on d4. Why not? Okay, he's definitely heading here now. b2 is weakened. Hmm. Can I just strike at b2? Or b7, rook to b1? Let's tr let's just start with that. See how they defend. I think I still want to go with this. My knight on c3 is unprotected, but I don't think they could really get at him. He's not playing. He's jumping straight in. Let's go king f2. Knight c2 is a bit annoying. I think I should cover that. Hmm. King f2, knight c2 is hitting my bishop in pawn. Hmm. Pretty annoying piece is this knight. Yeah, I'm going to just uh, restrict that knight for a moment. I don't want a castle. I think my king will be safe here. Still a lot of pieces flying around, but I think he wants to be here. Maybe even run to g3 one day. Something like this. There's maybe even pins. My my king, in short, would be opposite the rook if I'm castling, so... I thought that that might be a move. Let's take. Okay. And I probably have to take. Well, let's do it. Now king f2. Gotta get this guy working, and my bishop. If knight here, I could take that b6 pawn. I don't like how active the rook is getting. Let's go a4. I have checks. A couple different checks. Let's keep this in mind. Given time, I want this and then that. Do I have the time? Currently playing without these two pieces. I'm going to be dropping that pawn. Okay. Let's see. Can I look to undermine this knight with f4? I feel like I'd be leaving my king vulnerable 
f4, f6, takes, takes. You know, my king is accessible. Don't think I could save my pawn. Probably bishop d3. Yeah, let's go bishop d3. Anything better? I don't think so. i got to get my rook playing. So bishop takes pawn. I don't know how serious of a pin this is. Hmm. Well, still playing with the bishops. There is no bishop move with check to win my a rook. Because I need to be more specific. The a rook. <laughs> uh, minor piece ending. Okay. Two minutes and change. Hmm. All right, I guess we're going to take. They should take with the bishop. And now maybe is the time to undermine. Yeah, let's do this now. Maybe even on f6, this is a move. Trying to get a pass pawn over here. I also restrict this knight. This would be a pretty good square for a knight, wouldn't it? This guy is uh, something I have to watch over. If I do this, then knight here. I'm doing this to grab some space to kill the knight a little bit. I have this secure. If they push, I could take the knight and then take here, or can I? I'd be dropping e4, so this is an idea. They're not going for it. Let's get pushing. The three versus two. Okay, well, now I could win some material with takes and the knight here. They're noticing that now. King here to defend the pawn. I just want to get their pass pawn. It was something better than winning the b6 pawn. Could take this knight first, but... Um, I'm going to keep him around. Got to win the pawn. Maybe there was a reason to take here, because knight here, how am I defending this guy? I guess I have to take this knight now. Hmm. Okay. Now they have a pass pawn. It's tricky. Gotta defend that pawn. This is the only way to do it. I could have a little roll reversal soon. Knight on c5, knight on c4 to stop the pawn, knight on c4, knight here to defend, and try for something like this. Watch out for the forks. Only one pawn up. Interesting. That's a pretty interesting idea. Hmm. Trying to eliminate all my pawns. I could take. Yeah, let's do that. He goes over here. I could look to target that pawn. Yeah, let's put pressure on this guy. He might bolt. Hmm. I should do this right now. And take this pawn now. Two connected pass pawns. I'm up two. Okay, I just want the knights off. Can I force the knights off? Hmm. Okay, probably here. Just to stop the king from getting at this guy. Okay. And now... Here. Yeah, I want to flush this king away from these guys. I, I could care less if he falls, but I want to I want to distract the king for a moment. And now get my knight back into a good position. Well, actually, I could go one step further. I could give this check. Let's give this check. And then king f2. I could play it really simple and try to win three pawns versus a knight. 
let's just do this though. If that knight moves, I could take this pawn. This should be pretty clean from here. There's no fancy fork that I see. Knight here, king up. Yeah, right here. Threatening d3 still. Pawn push here. Ah, oh, they found a way to get that. There it is. Incoming fork. Yep. Or that order. Okay. Can I win this? It's going to be extra tough. Wow. Oh, man. Those knights, as we know, are tricky. He found a way to scoop them up. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. My king is at least safe for a little bit. Uh, they might be in a little trouble. Oh, there's that move. That works to get the draw. Mmm, tough one. That was a good game. Easy to mess that one up. Um, just looking at it without the analysis first. This is the one pawn I really need to hang on to. So, yeah, it's a, it's a clever idea. I think that this is working, at least to get this pawn. It might still be winning somehow, but... Yeah, I, I, I shouldn't be dropping my e4 pawn. Yeah, and then there goes the h pawn. Typical trickiness. Let's see. So this wasn't the right idea, I guess. Knight, knight check? Oh, it's very tempting to do that, though, isn't it? You know, just to kick the king away? Yeah. This still should be working somehow, no? Uh, knight check, maybe I go here. Yeah, I guess I have to go here. Yeah, king to e1. Let's put on the analysis. I think that that would be better. To go into e1. Yeah, double question mark. I guess king f3 is allowing the draw. Because of push, I gotta go here. And then knight here. Either move order is good. You could promote first and then land the fork, but... Switching it up, going in there, threatening this. That's working as well. Hmm. Okay. Yep. Easy to mess that one up, those knight endings. Let's have a look at the opening. Okay, so a Nimzo Indian Camacho variation is what it says here. Yeah, very sharp, playing with the bishops. Yeah, I don't think that that's... I'm comfortable seeing this, because they're uncastled, I have the bishops, and I'm getting this guy. I mean, it left these guys weak, not that I was able to take advantage of... Uh, these guys, but I'm up upon and I have the bishops, and I probably could have made a better decision with my bishop at this stage. Yeah, this is this is a bit too clumsy. I'm running right into development with tempo, so something tells me this is a better way to stop knight here. Knight c6, then e4, and I they probably never even get their pawn back. You know, their activity will my lack of development eventually meant that uh, 
you know, their pieces got very active. The queen side opened up, and I was still with my bishop on f1 and rook on h1. So, yeah, I should see this, that it's not a stable square. Bishop h6, knight c6, e4, and where does he even go? Right here, seems like he's ready, like he's asking you to get trapped somehow. You know, he's short on squares big time. So, I don't know. Maybe here, like he did in the game? I think that's where he went when I played e4. Yeah, he went to c7, so... I helped my opponent out a little bit. They gained some time when I went here. Bishop there is better, e4. And then... King f2, bishop c4, knight here, and development isn't an issue. As soon as this move is in, I could get on this diagonal right away. And look to circle in it into the d5 square. Yeah, so I wasted some time here. Probably playing a little bit too fast, but... Okay. Yeah, because they're there to cover. They're there to cover that. Oh, well, you know what? I could play bishop c4 now. No, no, I can't. Yeah, this is this is really off. I mean, what am I doing with my bishop? It's my king that wants to be here as well. You know, so I'm wasting more time to move my bishop and get my king on f2. This is having a complete domino effect on my position. You know, by my, my decision to play into d4. This, this... King f2, right now, I don't need to go here. And then this. You know, this bishop is pretty stable piece. If he's being attacked, this is a good way to get your rook out of play. You know, the action should be somehow over here, but I don't think black would be there in time. Okay. So, I guess we'll have a look at it with the engine. Let's see what the, uh... Oh. Likes Team White for basically the whole game. Not by, not by a great deal. And when I see like a half pawn advantage, I'm thinking it's primary, primarily related to just uh, having the bishop pair. Move 27, f4. Yeah. I'm not up a pawn at this point, but it's just giving some, some weight, of course, to uh, having the bishop pair. So let's just see. Put on the engine. Queens are off. Is that what it's suggesting? Let's just see for the arrows. Yeah, it does want to go to h6 here. Still uh, right around the same evaluation, but yeah, I should be going to h6. And now my pieces are a bit clumsy. My bishop is getting in in the way of my king. Yeah, I could have organized my pieces much better in the opening. King up two. Okay. I think this is the right idea. Does it like f5? No, not a fan of f5. Bishop c1. But, yeah, I just want to take away this square, suggesting another way to get the knight involved. Hmm. They helped me out some as well, giving me that pawn. How could I have better converted this? Take the B pawn. Take the knight. King F3. Yeah. This was a nice try, because in these type of endings, you know, when you're the defending side, you're down a pawn. What you really want to have happen is as many pawns exchanged as possible, so that well, as we saw with how it finished here, um, black eventually got it to a point where I had one pawn plus. Uh, well, the pawn plus I had was the only pawn I had, and so that allowed black to just uh, sacrifice the knight for my remaining pawn. So black's trying to create more pawn exchanges, and, and that's why, you know, knowing this, this, this is why I'm... I'm taking here. I know it's double isolated pawns, but it's still another pawn I have on board. 
Um, if I'm doing something like meeting H5 with H3, which is something that would maybe be quite common in a, a middle game position, you know, maintaining your G-pawn, meeting an H-pawn advance with an H-pawn advance, and thereby maintaining your G-pawn with a, a capture-recapture sequence. Notice, you know, now it's down to a 3 versus 2, and we're tending more towards a situation where the knight can ultimately sacrifice itself for my uh, my pawn plus and uh, get the draw. So I'm taking here. They shouldn't be doing that. Uh, who knows how really to assess this one. It's tough. Uh, but h5 takes. What could I have done better here? Pushing is fine. Knight d7? And just get pushing my pawns? I really had it in my mind, like, I wanted to win this pawn and then finally use my king and knight to escort these two guys. Or at least one of them. You know? Knight d7. Is the move I played okay? Yeah. Multiple ways to do it. But I guess where it was really lost is when I played king f3. I have to play king e1 here. After king f3, I guess uh, I'm throwing it away. Tough move to see in blitz. Yeah. Tough move to see. I gotta go in this direction, though. I have to stop this pawn from advancing. Hmm. Yeah, because you know what? Mm, okay, yeah, it's tough to see, but at, at the same time, you know, when I play king f3, I'm never threatening to take the knight. But, you know, I just I just didn't see this idea with the uh, follow-up fork and, yeah. Was it still winning at some point? So I should have played king e1. Let's just see this clean approach. Knight here, king here. Okay, now it's now it's pretty clean. I get this guy, they get that one, but I should be able to convert this. I'm not going to, I don't think at least, uh, drop both of these pawns. It could still happen. You know, already there's this threat to take here. But what's this move about? Yeah, look at how he could already go wrong here. If I if I move my king, it's already an issue because of these uh, sacrifices on f5, and there's uh, there's checks to to lure me away. So the knight could still sacrifice itself for the pawn. Still tricky ending, but that's this is what I wanted, is what I'm getting at. I wanted to get this guy first, but he wasn't free. I took the d-pawn, they took the e-pawn, and yeah, now I guess it's draw town. I didn't miss any wins right around this point, did I? Hmm. What I was trying to do here is... Well, could I have played this right now? No, they just go back. If they take, I'm pushing with check and then getting the queen, but they could just go here. And if I do this, there's a knight check. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm not making any progress here. I could try some fancy knight moves, but they have it... Uh, they have it blockaded. Okay. Knights, a tricky piece, as we all know. Um, as usual, feel free to leave any feedback to this video in the comment section below. And as always, I hope you got something out of it. That's all for now. Take care. Bye.